Before I start to give my regular graduation speech, I want to say something personal, if I may. I'm a puppet, obviously. But, but because I'm a puppet, people tend to think I'm only for little kids. And, and that's, that's not true. Because, you know, when I'm with little kids, I talk to little kids. But when I'm with older people, I talk to older people. I have no age. So I talk to people of all ages. And I just, I just hope you can take me as seriously as I take you. Because I feel like my message is important. And I just, I hope you can listen with an open heart and open mind. Thank you guys. So, so first off, I want to congratulate you on graduation from high school. I mean, I hope you feel proud. You should, it's a huge accomplishment. It's one of the biggest things you've done so far in life. And I would like to take a few moments to share with you some of the life lessons that I've picked up along the way. So, I have three main points I'd like to share. Uh, actually, I have four points here, but um, <laughs> I'm trying to keep my speech short and sweet, so let's just stick to three. Yeah, okay. One, it's time for intuition. It's time for you to really start listening to your intuition. You've paid your tuition in, in all the time that you've spent doing all that work, all your time and energy. That's your tuition. You've paid that. And now it's time to start listening to your intuition. Two, when people tell you something can't be done or you can't do something, that's a reflection of their limitations. So whatever you do, don't believe them. Follow your own heart. Follow your own path. And whatever you do, don't listen to the naysayers. Mm -mm -mm. Three, point number three, point three. <laughs> we need you. We need your light. We need your hands. We need your feet. We need your minds. We need your heart. We need you more than ever right now. So please do what it is you are called to do. That means listening, listening, listen to yourself. Remember, follow point number one, follow your intuition. Yeah, and don't be overwhelmed by all the evils in the world. You don't have to fix them all. You only have to do what it is you are called to do. So if you have a passion for animals, follow that passion and work to save endangered species or, or work as a vet taking care of sick animals. And if you have a passion for children, follow that passion. Become a teacher or social worker or hey, ah, a puppeteer, yeah. Share your joy and light with the kids. And if you have a passion for social justice, say, follow that passion. Volunteer in whatever group calls to you, or become a lawyer and fight for immigrant rights, or, or work on campaigns, or better yet, start your own campaign, start your own party, start your own anything. The point is, we need you. You, not just anyone, you, your light, and your gifts, because there is so much that is needed right now, but I'm not worried. I'm actually hopeful for the future because we have you on our side and there's only one you. There is only one you. I mean, think about it. Do you know all the things that had to come into place for you to exist right now? I mean, not, not just that your mom had to meet your dad and all of that stuff. I'm talking about billions of years of creation and atoms and all sorts of other stuff flying all over the place and, and everything unfolding exactly as it did for you to be here now. You know, writer Alice Childress once said, the human pattern is never 
cast twice. We are uncommonly and marvelously intricate. It's really astounding. There's only one you. It's amazing. And someone once told me to always be amazed. I like that. And I am. I am amazed about what you've already achieved. And I know I'll be amazed by your plans for the future. I mean, I can't wait to see what you'll do. I have faith that whatever path you take, all of you will be making things better for your families, your friends, and for all of us. So I thank you in advance. Now, go out there and do as civil rights leader, Congressman John Lewis reminds us to do. Never be afraid to make some noise and get in some good trouble, some good necessary trouble. Thank you.